coordination, strength, and it will also strengthen your learning skills. What your dog can do is to go from a lying down position to a standing position without moving his feet at all. This is a little more tricky for him than if he can just pop up and shuffle his feet and it will also require you to pay a little more attention to how you're luring him. So, if I think if he would stand up, he would kind of fall towards me. That means the treat that I'm feeding him, that I'm luring him with, has to describe this path in the air that his head is going to make. So. shoveling one or two feet that's not right and over time you will be able to even do multiple repetitions like Gus is doing right now this gets increasingly harder as your dog cannot just shovel his feet to balance himself out he has to do all of this just through his strength and coordination repetitions so Gus is able to go many many times from a stand to a down back to a stand without ever moving a single foot he's been practicing this for a while so would not expect your dog to do this in the first session you can also increase the challenge eventually by having your dog do this on a slightly unstable surface such as for example a mattress or a big pillow If your dog has troubles with this, it's probably because you're luring straight up like this, then he is unable to do this motion without shoveling his feet. Yeah? So instead, you need to really think about where his head's going to end up if he should stand up without shoveling his feet. And that's right about here. Awesome. And then he can stand up without any movement at all. What a good job. Cool boy, guys. Thank you.